This is Twit. There are lists for a whole bunch of things, and I've been looking at a couple of different apps actually on iOS recently um, for you know keeping track of you know various kinds of lists. And I'm going to start with a great little app which uh, is available on the App Store uh, for two ninety nine, and it's called Play. So I know that YouTube has a built in watch list feature, but I feel like ninety nine percent of the time when I go to try and save something to my YouTube watch later list, it just kind of like goes, oh, wait, but you're not logged in. I need you to re-log in and re-authenticate and do stuff. And then it makes the video disappear. And so I have to go back and, and all of those things. And I can't really categorize stuff. You know, I can make playlists, but it, do, it does the way I want it to. Play is called Play, Save Videos, Watch Later. It's two ninety nine, and its purpose is to allow you to add not just individual videos, which you can do um, here, but you can also add entire channels into the Ooh. app so that you can follow a whole channel. So for example, um, I have been watching uh, a bit of Adventures with Purpose and I have my inbox here. Um, so if I go to my channels in the app, then I can see, and I've got Adventures with Purpose, and I can see that there are 12 new videos and I can just tap and hold on that and then add all videos, which I, yeah, I'm very, I'm very lazy. I like uh, <laughs> using that approach. Um, but what this does is it then automatically just adds all of these into my watch later list so that I can see and then I, I can see them and then I can sort them. But I can sort them by the date that I added them to the list, the date that they were published, um, the date that I watched them. If they're in, if I've watched them, their title, the channel they're on, their duration, the rating, and I can obviously go from newest to oldest first. So if I'm looking for something really short, then I could swap this and put shortest first. And look, I can see there's an 18 second video there. Perfect. You know, I've got very little time, 18 seconds, 30 seconds. That's exactly what I'm after. Or maybe I actually want to look at things by channel. Um, and now I can see that, you know, there's uh, some things from CGP Grey here, things from Clutterbug um, and all sorts of stuff. And I like the way that I can go through this here. Now I can also um, add uh, a tag uh, to things as well um, so that I can actually uh, set, set it up so that things are also tagged. But there are a lot of uh, little nifty bits that are in here. So obviously you can do things like just change the tint color. So if you don't associate red with YouTube, you could change it to be blue or green if green is your favorite color, like Micah. Uh, you can have shake to watch. So you can just literally shake your phone. Uh, I'm shaking it here, uh, but obviously I don't have the feature turned on and it'll pick a random video for you to watch. Great, nice, when like you just shuffle. want, you know, like a lottery feature. You can cho choose to show a badge count. So show the number of unwatched videos oh, no, thank in the you. app. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I have that turned off. You can also sync all this via iCloud. And that is pretty important because this app, it's not just on your iPhone, it's also on your iPad and your Mac and your Apple TV. So you can save Ooh. all of these videos to watch later in various places. You can set it up with tags. You can do auto tagging um, for things as well. So you can say, hey, um, I am going to create a new tag and I'm going to call this uh, education and I'm going to give that a blue color um, and I'm going to save that. And I can say when the title uh, contains or I could even change that. So when the channel contains, maybe when the channel contains CGP there we go, then automatically tag it with education. Uh, I usually learn something for a CGP grade video. Um, uh, and so there's that. And this applies then to all of the things that you, all of the videos that you have in here, whenever you add them. So you don't have to go in and add tags um, as you want. Um, you can also choose, um, so for example, when you watch a video, if it automatically marks it as watched um, and how it watches it, does it watch it in uh, the app? Does it go out to Safari to watch it? Does it uh, watch it in Firefox? Um, so native app is something like, you know, YouTube or so on. And of course, this doesn't just work for YouTube. It works for other things as well. So you can save a whole bunch of videos here. And yes, it has shortcut support. Of course it does, because I'm that kind of nerd. Um, but you don't have to use shortcut support. One thing I do really love here, okay, and this is one of the things that makes this not just a, a good list app, for playing things is when I tap on the plus, there is an add multiple videos. I can import from a playlist or, and things like that, but I can just paste in like 20 video URLs. Maybe I've been throwing them into notes and I want to catch up on them later um, and put them all in here. I can just paste all of them in here and it'll parse them out and bam, add all of them to my list and done. Very simple. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very 
neat little app. It's a small app in many ways, but I have to say it is really useful for me. Um, there's also possibilities, instead of viewing this as a, a, a grid, you can view it as a dense grid. So that's three across instead of two across on my iPhone. You can view it as a list instead, and you can also view it as a dense list. So that just gives you more vision of the titles um, and so on. There's also uh, the ability in things like your all view or a specific tag views to filter out watched ones. Uh, I tend to delete the watched videos when I'm done with them, unless I want to save them into some other system. Uh, so I don't have any watched videos in here, but this is a uh, play uh, available in the app store for $2.99. And honestly, it's really handy for just keeping track of the videos that you want to watch later. And that's what yeah. I love about it. This is awesome. Once you said Apple TV, I was sold because that is, yeah. I don't even, I don't, I rarely watch, videos on my Apple TV outside of, you know, media that I'm watching, but this would potentially make me watch it more because I find the YouTube browsing experience on Apple TV to be absolutely atrocious. So knowing that I could just go to this one place and view the videos that I actually want to see, because I'm not, I'm not a huge video watcher in the first place, uh, mostly because of my ADHD. I get impatient <laughs> sitting there watching mm -hmm. a video, waiting, whoops, waiting for them to get to the point. Um, and so I, what I do is I'll save it for later whenever I do feel like I'm in the mood for it. And the way that I save it for later, it would not sync it to my Apple TV. So thank you for this app. I will absolutely be using this. Uh, in fact, I've already bought it and it's installed on my Mac. <laughs> uh, just to and of course, uh, bonus, bonus little feature. If you have the Apple TV home screen sync on as well, and automatically downloading uh, apps to your Apple TV. Uh, then if you have more than one Apple TV, it'll appear in the same place on both. And if you automatically download apps, it'll just appear there. I actually went back in and turned that on the other day because I realized that there was some Apple TV versions of some great apps I was missing out on, like Play. So uh, yeah, I turned that feature back on. And this is um, from the yeah. the developer who makes the incredible app called Music Harbor, all one word, Music Harbor. Mm -hmm. And I use Music Harbor because what that app lets you do, uh, and it's a little off topic, but it is an app that helps you keep track of when your artists release new music. And so if you've got more than one artist you like listening to, as I do, uh, I'm not able to keep up with all of them and know exactly when a new album releases that's, you know, relegated to a few. What? I was quoted on there. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> this is Iowa today, Mike Sergeant. What? Uh, that sounds like me. I say folks a lot. Anyway, um, so this app is, it's so helpful in finding new music. And the fact that the Music Harbor uh, developer makes uh, play as well, it makes sense. It, it clicks in my mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And yes, uh, I am going to give him a little bonus shout out. If you're thinking like, oh, that sounds great, but I just like something like this for like audio music. He has an app called Music Box for saving music for later as well. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's also available on all the platforms. So, yes. Uh, also, I have spoken about Music Smart, which gives you like liner notes from albums from him before here on the show. So, yeah, definitely check out his apps because there's all sorts of good stuff over there. Um, Let's yeah. send some attention um, that way. Be great. Yeah. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.